Third and six. Taylor taking a deep shot, looking for Hyatt. He's got separation, and he's got the catch. Benjamin St. Juice had the coverage, but Hyatt. Uh, I'm in red form. In a red state, such a red case on a red song. In a shared space with my shareholders, cause we share a bond. Spiritual health care, that's real self care, you won't care for. I got my Mets hat on to the back. Y'all already know where we going with the stats. It's any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us. Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current. I follow his ways. I know my turn is coming. Welcome to New York Giants for access. Add it to the cart and we got you. That's it, man. Go purchase Big Passports Talk merch and support the family, man. And welcome to Big Passports Talk. Thank you for your support. What's going on, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms? Welcome to another episode of New York Giants for Access with your boy, Big Pat Sports Talk. And today we're going to be talking about Jalen Hyatt should be featured in the New York Giants offense moving forward. Got a victory today, today against the Washington Commanders, and Jalen Hyatt showed why his speed is a different type of speed. He had what I believe two catches for 70 yards. We featured him in the deep ball today against the Washington Commanders, and let me tell you, his speed is dynamic. Now, people want to talk about, let's get a different quarterback. Let's say we do get a different quarterback, and he has the arm talent to where he can throw that ball and lead Jalen Hyatt. There's not too many defenses in the league that want to see that. Just going to be honest with you. When we put Jalen Hyatt on the field, a lot of things open up. As you can see, they started to bracket Jalen Hyatt more towards towards the second half because his speed factor was so tremendous that where they had to play over the top of him and it opened up things over over the middle of the field. Now, I would like us to have put up more points in the second half after we got the 14 points, but we really got the 14 points because of Jalen Hyatt's speed factor on the field. It opened up the big play to Wanda Robinson underneath. It opened up the big scene route to Waller to get the touchdown. This man should be featured more because I believe he's the best receiver on this team. And his route running hasn't even got nowhere near to where we can get it. So imagine him being featured to where we can get more out routes with him because you're so worried about his speed. You're lining up off of him. We can get slant routes with him. We can get dig routes with him. We have to figure out how to get Jalen Hyatt involved more in this offense. And it shouldn't be a reason why we can't. As you've seen with Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod Taylor shown the ability to throw the deep ball. He's going to throw it deep. He's going to give our receivers chances to make plays. And they should be able to make plays for us. So moving forward, Jalen Hyatt, you need to keep progressing. If he continues to progress, what type of receiver he can he turn into? He can turn into a receiver that DBs fear. And what I mean by that is, when you looked at people like Deshaun Jackson in his career, he made so many plays by, by getting the deep ball, by showing off his ability to move past defenders. Tyreek Hill does it tremendously. And I'm not saying he has Tyreek Hill speed. I think Tyreek Hill's play speed is phenomenal. But I would but what I will say is when we continue to develop this kid, when he continues to get confidence, when he continues to get his route tree up, and we continue to feature him in the game. He's going to start developing those number one receiver traits by default. Because when you tell him, hey, we're going into the game, we're getting ready to get you the ball, and you're going to have to go make some plays for us, kid. 
when a player like that that's hungry, he's going to go up and get the ball, and he has tremendous hands. He almost brought in a one-handed hand catch for a touchdown. He has tremendous hands. He's shown that already. So what if we start to feature him on wide receiver screens? Get the ball in his hands. Let him maneuver with the ball a little bit more. Let him get the feel of getting the ball in the open field and making people miss. What if he starts to get develop that a little bit? That's another thing in his bag. What if he starts to feel that this organization has the confidence in him to be a number one receiver, maybe? He's going to start playing better. He's going to start playing a little bit faster because he's going to want the ball. He's a hungry kid. He's ready to prove people wrong. People said that he can't run routes. He can't jump up and catch the ball in coverage. He can't be a number one receiver. That's why you don't draft him in this round and that round. And he's starting to prove people wrong the more that we get the ball to him. So he has to be featured. Let's see him on some of those slot fades that we gave Slate. And shout out to Slayton for catching that dig route over the middle of the field and turning it into a 20-yard game. Shout out to this offense getting, what, seven plays of 20-plus yards? Want to know the reason why? It's because that man was running deep and he was opening up things. And when you decide that you want to put him in one-on-one -on -one coverage on one of those deep routes, I'm coming to him almost every time. Because I don't think there's too many corners that can stay with him if you're trying to bump and run him and go deep with him. Not too many corners is going to run with him. Let's start running more double moves with Jalen Hyatt. Let's put the pressure on these cornerbacks. And whoever the quarterback is, whether it's Daniel Jones or Tyrod Taylor, I don't care. Put the ball in the air. If Tyrod Taylor's that quarterback that's going to put the ball in the air, let him be. Because we have the offense where we can go deep. Waller down the scene. Been asking for that all year long. Touchdown. Darren Waller almost 100 yards. It shouldn't be a game where Darren Waller is at least not targeted eight times. And it shouldn't be a game where we don't at least target Jalen Hyatt at least two to three times down the field. Let's start targeting him more down the field. And some of those underneath routes when we need a third and five could be very easy for us because they're backing off. And if Tyrod Taylor is that guy, that you trust to do that, you have to start him. Get the ball to our receivers. Let's get Jalen Hyatt on a couple of slant routes and see what happens. We have to feature this kid more in this offense. Let's get the ball to Jalen Hyatt on a couple of out routes and see what he do. Let's get him a wide receiver screen. Let's get him a jet sweep. Let's start featuring this kid more. Because what I've seen from this kid, he could be dynamic. I think we hit with this pick. But we can't see the hits if we're not letting them step up to the plate. So let's feature Jalen Hyatt more in his offense, not just deep routes. Let's run some seam routes. Let's run some post corners. Let's run some digs. Let's, let's run some slants. Let's see what this kid can do. Because obviously what he did against Washington is he changed the dynamic of this offense and made people start to respect the deep ball. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that big blue join button. And join the big blue crew and talk your talk with Big Pat Sports Talk. And until the next episode, you know what it is, man. Peace.